Yo, 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 what was saying YouTubes? It's been a minute, mate. Um, apologies for the, the lack of kind of uploads and lack of updates um, on the channel. Life's just been a bit hectic. Um, no excuse. I should do better. Um, but we're um, about a week post High Rocks Manchester. And I thought I'd do a little recap while I'm out of the funny little riot on a big ass hike. Um, we PB'd, um, we hit a 75.46 I want to say it was, um, so around three minutes off uh, Birmingham, which I'm kind of happy with, I'm kind of not, um, obviously I was very very vocal in regards to, where are you, there you are, um, I was very very vocal in regards to I think that I thought I was capable of hitting a sub 70 and training led me to believe that my my run splits were good my company's run was pretty good um my station pace was very very good my strength was an all-time high since kind of starting this this high rocks endeavor um so i went into the race feeling feeling very 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 confident um but the race just fucking didn't go to plan. I'm not making any excuses or anything like that because there is no excuses to make. Um, I am just not quick enough to podium to qualify for Worlds at this current stage. Um, and that's completely fine. This is what we need to do. Um, this is why periodize, this is why we, we periodize things. Um, I generally just thought, you know, within my first year of High Rocks, I was going to be a sub-70 um, athlete. But I'm not. I'm not yet. So... The plan for now is to uh, is to go into a long, long off season, which I will update you in the next video in regards to what we're going to be looking at achieving in this off season um, and how I'm going to structure it and things like that. Because we've got some big, big, fucking exciting plans in this off season. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those, mate. Um, the runs felt okay. Um, the ski I took at about 80% just because I wanted to then run hard after that. Um, a run after the ski was okay. Um, and then on the sled push, um, my legs just, they just went. <laughs> um, they just absolutely went. Um, I had no, no juice in them at all. Um, and that, that kind of stayed for <laughs> the fucking the rest of the race. There wasn't any sort of like massive improved times or anything like that like I was just slightly better on all things um apart from the burpees um I was way slower on the burpees um from Birmingham so one of them but the drum bar time to get stronger time to get fitter um time to just get better not just be better as a high rocks athlete just be a better athlete a big big passion about that is becoming the best athlete and then just boxing myself into one thing of I'm just a, a high rocks athlete. I'm an athlete and this year is going to put me fucking way, way, way outside my comfort zone, which I cannot wait for. So, yeah, we uh, we finished the first year um, at competing at high rocks. We started the year off with a 95 then we hit a 78, then we hit a 75. So 20 minutes of progression there, which, you know, I am happy with, I really, really am. Um, so we take we take that, we take the data, and we learn, we improve, we get better. And that's why we have the off-season, so, yeah. Anyway, in the next video, I will outline and map out this off-season, the exciting plans that we've got, um, the exciting plans that we've got for this off season um, we'll probably outline when I'm wanting to compete in Hyrox again because we do have a rough time frame of when I want to get back into the, the Hy oh, well get back onto the Hyrox floor um, but yeah for now we switch the focus and uh, yeah we get way outside the comfort zone but other than that I'm going to wrap this video up here short and sweet like my dog <laughs> Um, but again, if you want to follow the journey, hit that subscribe button, like it, fire over a comment if you will. Appreciate all the support as always. See you in the next video.